Hi everybody, it's Caitlin Jackson, your independent damsel pro, and excuse uh, my lovely hair, I just got out of the bathtub, but I got a damsel in defense box today, and I just could not wait uh, to show you what was in it. I have in my hands the brand new damsel in defense concealed carry purse. Um, I absolutely love this purse. Those of you that know me know that shooting and firearms are a huge passion of mine and it's pretty much the only hobby that I have outside of work. So I want to show you this purse because I, I think it's, that it's great. I personally carry a Glock 19 and I carry it on my body in a lace corset holster. Um, however, there are times being a woman that it just does not work. Um, the, the holster that I use is great. I love it. I've been through so many holsters, but um, being women with our wardrobe, as varied as it is, sometimes carrying on our body just doesn't work. And so um, I think that a concealed carry purse can be a great option if you're educated and you practice with it and you know how to use it. So let's start with some of the basics. Um, this purse comes in black, white, tan, and uh, kind of a blue, and this turquoise. And turquoise is my absolute favorite color, so that's why. Um, I chose turquoise on the back here is our concealed carry portion and I've had a lot of a lot of you asking for pictures of what the inside looks like well it's really hard to take a picture of this actually but there's velcro on the inside I don't know if you can see those strips of velcro so um, this can be used either right or left-handed and it comes with this really awesome velcro holster so the beauty of this is you can put this holster in and you can position your firearm however is most comfortable for you you can also carry your stun gun or whatever in here but you guys know that I'm a gun girl so I'm interested in what kind of firearm I can carry in here and um, how it's gonna work so you're able to put this holster inside the purse where you can cant it at the angle that works best for you. Um, part of concealed carry is practicing that draw uh, with your gun unloaded at home, of course. Um, always double, triple check that it's unloaded, but practicing that draw. So you can use this Velcro holster to cant your firearm at the perfect um, angle that works best for your draw. And so I just want to show you guys my old concealed carry purse. Um, my husband bought me, bought me this a couple of years ago and um, of course it was very stylish back then, um, but wow, uh, we have come so far in concealed carry purses. If you just look at the difference in these, uh, which one do you think I'm going to be carrying? Uh, no offense Sloan, I love my old purse, but the new concealed carry is great. Um, this purse actually costs over $100. Uh, concealed carry purses are very expensive. And the great thing about the concealed carry is it is only $75. Um, and it's a great leather, great quality uh, product. But let's talk about the concealed carry part of the purse. It does come with a retention strap. Um, I personally am not going to use this retention strap, but it is there so you can use it. I'm first going to show you how the Glock 42 fits inside of the concealed carry and I'm going to show you that this is unloaded. There is no bullet inside the chamber and there is no magazine inside the magazine well. Um, with that in mind, we still are going to practice all of our safety rules in not pointing a firearm uh, towards anything we are not willing to destroy and we're going to keep our finger off the trigger at all times, okay? So um, with that... This is how the Glock 42 fits inside of the holster. Got to put it the right way. And then we can slide this holster in the purse however we want it to fit. You can hear the Velcro. Um, it's a very sticky Velcro, which I like because whenever you go to draw that firearm out, the holster is going to stay inside. And that is really important because whenever we're drawing our firearm, we don't want our holster coming with it. So the Glock 42 fits in there great. If you've got a Glock 43, an MMP shield, a SIG P2, uh, P2, 380, I don't shoot six, so I can't remember the exact number, or the nine millimeter version of that, it's going to fit in there perfect. So um, I'm going to show you what it looks like just kind of from the outside. There's the Glock 42. So with that Velcro holster, you can cant this however works best for you while you're carrying. So if you're carrying this way, you can have it canted up or, or whatever works best for you, okay? 
So that is the Glock 42. I told you that I carry a Glock 19 and um, it, it's a larger firearm. And so we are gonna test and see if it's going to fit into the holster. And uh, this is the Glock 19. It's a double stack. There's no magazine. And I'm gonna show you that there is no round in the chamber, okay? So this firearm is unloaded. We're gonna place it in the holster and here I'm putting it in backwards again. We're gonna put it in the holster. You can see that it fits nicely. And then we're going to put it inside of the purse. This Velcro is really sticky, y'all, which it's gonna make getting the firearm in there the initial a time a little bit more difficult, but in the long run, that is going to be great because it is going to prevent um, the holster from coming out whenever you draw your firearm, okay? All right, so there is the Glock 19. This, uh, the Glock 23 is the uh, 40 caliber model that's the exact same size as this. Um, a lot of you might have a Glock 26 or 27. Those are going to fit in here perfect. I think the Glock 19 is about the largest gun that's going to fit. So if you've got um, a Springfield XD, nine or 45 um it should fit in this purse but you know what you're always more than welcome to bring it and we can try it so here is the glock 19 inside the concealed carry purse the concealed carry and whenever you are putting your firearm in here every day you don't have to remove that velcro holster that's the great thing all you've got to do is just slip it right back into place so um it's an easy draw it's easy to get back in there um and it looks great so that is the concealed carry. Um, right now for the month of January, Damsel in Defense is doing double half price hostess items. So if you'd like to host a party or even a Facebook party, please let me know. All of my home parties, I actually bring a self-defense dummy and I um, teach you how to use a lot of our products, you and your friends on that self-defense dummy. So um, this is the concealed carry. I absolutely love it. It's available on my website. Um, if you want to see it in person, let me know. I'd love to bring it by. Um, it's also a great, really big purse. It's got lots of pockets. Uh, mine will probably be filled with diapers and wipes and sippy cups, but um, there's great room for that. And there's one more thing I want to mention. This purse does come with a strap, so you can carry crossbody. A lot of uh, experts are going to recommend that you use a concealed carry purse crossbody because it's harder for someone to take from you. Um, I'm going to say that that is great advice and that when carrying in a purse, you need to be vigilant, okay? I do like that this has long straps, so you can put it on and you can kind of have your purse uh, protected. Uh, whenever you conceal carry in your purse, make sure that no children can get it and make sure that you don't leave your purse in a shopping cart or anything crazy like that um, and that way you can always have your firearm accessible and ready to go like I said my name is Caitlin Jackson sorry this video is, is running a little bit long but I'm really passionate about um, women's concealed carry and I am all about options okay um, if there's a concealed carry holster or method out there, I want to try it because I want to have options that work with my wardrobe and, and things that I do every day. And I love that the concealed carry is such a beautiful purse that um, I can carry in the professional world and also personally. So if you have any questions, let me know.